to start just to warm up our spine. So a nice parallel position. And let's just start by lengthening our spine. So drawing our shoulders down, pressing down into the feet, feel your energy going down into the floor, no shops or hairdressers. Oh, well, to be honest, my hair used to be blonde. <laughs> So I'm not going back to the hairdresser now. I'm going to save my money. Um, but shops, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Um, I really hope they open for you soon, guys. Yeah, I really do. Otherwise, just come down to London and hang out with us. We'd love to meet you down here or up here. Down here. Up excuse, excuse. Yes, yes. Will you still be doing the Sunday classes when the gym's open? I am not sure. I mean, as far as I'm aware that when they open, I will be going back to like the studio, but they may still be, um, they may still be put on Zoom. Um, so I'll have to check for, yeah, I'll have to check um, if there's any network, like if there's any way that you can email to ask, because I actually don't know the answer. I'm so sorry. I'm not sure. That's okay. Yeah, I'll ask. Thank you. Because I enjoy this. Thank you. Yeah, I would love to. I love this Sunday morning crowd and I really enjoy it. So if I can, I, yeah, I'd love to, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, my love. Okay, so standing nice and tall. We're going to <clears throat> draw the shoulders up towards the ears. So feeling that space decrease. And then as you exhale, start to draw them down. Good. This time as you inhale, reaching the arms up, take a deep breath in, take a big circle with those arms. Feel like someone's pulling them behind you, so you're opening up through the front of the pecs there. Lovely. Deep breath in again, reaching up, take a very big circle. Imagine I've got my hands and I'm pulling my, your arms behind you, so you're really opening up through the front of the chest. Good. Now we're going to reverse. We're going to take a big circle, reach them as far back as you can. That might only be to here, and that's fine. Going back as far as you can circling up and around good two more times like that deep breath and big circle back inhale exhale good last one reach them back as far as you can excellent and back to the beside your torso there lovely press your left hand down into the outside of your left thigh take a deep breath in as you reach that right arm over and just feel your left hand start to slide down towards your knee as you take a gentle side bend looking up towards the right arm good exhale circle around bring your chin down towards your chest and just circle your body round to the middle and gently roll up Good, let's repeat that second side. So right hand starts to slide down towards your knee as you reach that left arm up and over. Excellent, guys. Look up towards the left arm and then taking that diagonal, chin to the chest as you roll through the center and then coming back up to the middle. Lovely, now we're gonna take our full roll down, down to the floor. So we're gonna do this with arms this morning. So deep breath in, we reach the arms up. And then I want you to imagine you're diving into a crystal clear pool of heated, a heated pool of lovely water. So going down through the back. And then as you arrive down here, just bend those knees, come down to a little squat position and just rock those knees left to right. Just starting to gently warm up the hamstrings. Good, as you take another deep breath in, exhale, press your heels down gently, roll all the way back up through your spine. Lovely, as you reach the top, deep breath in, exhale, diving back down into that pool. So envision that sort of diving motion through the body, through to the hands, head comes down. As you reach the bottom, you bend the knees and take that gentle twist from side to side giving the back of those calves a little massage as well. Good, last time, as you roll up this time, just keeping your chest a little bit closer to your thighs, rolling all the way up, stretching those hamstrings. Last one, deep breath in. Exhale, diving down, head gets a little bit closer towards the chest and a bit closer towards the legs this time, so come a bit closer down, bending the knees, lovely. Little twist, side to side. This also helps warm up the knees slightly as well. Just a little bit of mobilization in the front of the knees. Gently rolling up 
all the way to stand. And then once you arrive at the top, taking a nice wide stance, we're going to do a little bit of leg work today in our standing Pilates. So just coming into a rotated position. So you don't have to have like a flat rotation, just your feet on a slight diagonal. And I want you to think about your knees going out wave and not forward. Yeah, so I want you to keep those knees to protect the knees going to the side. I'm gonna just take the hands onto the waist to help execute a nice tall spine. So we take a deep breath in, exhale, we're gonna bend down knees to the side. Good, and stretch. Now as you bend down, squeeze your bottom as you come up, squeeze your tush. So we're working our bottom muscles as well as our thighs. Good, knees open, inhale and exhale. Smoothly down and smoothly up. Very good guys, deep breath in, exhale. Two more here, keep the spine nice and lengthened. Beautiful everybody. Now I'm gonna take the next one down. Bring your hands just one on top of the other, just in front of you, just to help support our upper body here. Press down through your right toes and lift your right heel. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left heel. Push the front of your foot out. Good, now you wanna keep your hips low here. Push your knees back and squeeze your bottom. Lovely guys, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more each side, keep pushing down into that deep squat position. Now we're gonna do some little pulses. Knees to the side, good. Try to keep your back up here. That's better, good. Tall spine. Lovely work for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down, hold it down, 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 down. And slowly coming up. Nice, everybody, very good. Just give your legs a little shake. That's great. We're not done there though. <laughs> That's our warm up. Legs are nice and warm now. So go back to that position. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a rotation. This might be where you might wanna take a hand to a wall if you're a bit unstable. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> so we're gonna come down into our nice deep squat. We're going to twist our left knee towards the mat. We turn our body to the right side. We stay low. We come back to the center and we press up. Good. Inhale down. Now we stay low. We turn our right knee down. Good. Back to the center and exhale. Inhale, press down. Stay low here. Moving this hip, this leg in the hip joint. That's excellent. So we're mobilizing the right hip now, using our glutes here. Good. Let's do one more each side. Inhale and you twist. Exhale to center. Last one, inhale. Nice work, everybody. Lovely. Now going down, go towards your right side. We're gonna do some little pulses. So we want to make sure our back hip is directly over our back knee, our front knee's over our front foot, and our back is nice and tall. For five, four, three, two, one. Stay low. Transition directly to the second side. Good. Down, down, down. Inhale. Exhale. For five, four, three, two, one. Coming up. Very good job, guys. Give those legs a shake. Well done. Just let the muscles sort of relax there. We'll take a very quick quad stretch. So take your right foot up towards your bottom, just pushing the front of the thigh. And then just gently switching sides. Nice work. <coughs> good. And relax. Okay, we've got one more standing exercise before we come down to the floor. So this one as well, this one you might want to place hand for some balance. So we're stepping onto our right leg. <clears throat> and I want you to make sure you've stacked yourself nice and squarely. So you've got right shoulder, right hip and right foot in one straight line. Looking great, who and people I can see, lovely. Just take your hands onto your waist. Left leg is out to the side in a parallel position. So we're gonna turn our knee towards the front, that's it. Now we're just lifting a couple of inches off the floor and then tapping it down. Now as we do this, we don't wanna push over to the side. We wanna keep this strong 
and just lift that leg a few inches off the floor. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, exhale. Very nice work, guys. We've got five more. You keep breathing while I count. Strong inhales, strong exhales. Beautiful, strong legs. Nice, now hold it up here. Reach your opposite arm up to the ceiling and then you're gonna bring your knee towards your elbow. Inhale, exhale, diagonal. This is one of those exercises I was, I was looking through my notes. I was like, that's really easy, but it's not easy. This is a hard one. So take it nice and smooth. You're using your core here. This is like a crunch on your inhale and then an extension on your exhale. Good, inhale. You're gonna feel your supporting leg as well. We've got three more. Never trust a Pilates teacher to count properly though. You've probably all learned that by now. <laughs> we lie. <laughs> Good, hold it here. Bring that top hand down, little pulses, just little lifts. You've got this for five, four, nearly there. Three, two, and one, and relax. Very good, guys. So this, the leg you're standing on, you might have felt it more on that side. Just take your hand onto the wall, take the leg you were standing on, so your right leg, and just take it across your knee, just come into a very gentle butt stretch. Nice work, everyone, really good. That's a hard one, it's a hard standing combination. Good, and relax, and we'll do our second side. <clears throat> so, Nice and strong with our alignment. We have shoulder, hip, foot, and extend our right leg out to the side this time. Good, just starting with the hands on the waist. Think of pulling up. Think about pulling belly button, all the muscles in towards your belly button, and then lengthening the spine. Nice, good. So we lift and we lower. We keep that leg completely parallel and don't seesaw. Yeah, no seesaws, no fun. Stay up like a building. That's like a nice tower. Good. Very nice, guys. Who I can see, looking fabulous. Everyone else, I trust you're looking fabulous as well, obviously. Good. For three, for two, keep breathing. Good. And one. Nice. Now we're going to hold it up, take that diagonal. We bring elbow to knee. Try to keep this leg straight if you can. If you need a little bend, you can bend it. Do your best to keep it straight. Nice, good, inhale, exhale, diagonal. Good, inhale, core engaged, exhale, reach. For four, beautiful work, guys. For three, control smooth movement. For two, lengthening our muscles and one. Nice, everybody. Bring that hand back down, those little pulses. 10, nine, tall through this side. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax, very nice work, guys. Just taking that stretch on the second side. So take your left leg up now, just bending it across your right leg, sinking down into your glutes. Have a little stretch there. Beautiful work, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. A bit of a frog in my throat this morning. Nice, and relax. Just give those legs a nice little shake. Again, move the lactic acid around. to build up a bit of a muscle engagement on the side of our hips this morning. Now we're gonna come down to the mat. I'm just going to readjust my camera so you can see the floor a bit better when we get down there. Lovely. So we'll take a nice roll down. So just bring yourself to the back of your mat, feet together from the top of the head. We're gonna keep the hands beside our legs this time. Slowly one part of your spine at a time, like a chain unfolding all the way down to the floor as you reach the down to your squat position and then very smoothly just transitioning onto your bottom and then just roll yourself down onto your back. Lovely work guys. So now that we're down on the back, we'll just take a little quick stretch for our glutes. So hug your knees nice and tightly in towards your chest. Give them a nice tight squeeze. And as always, if you wanna have a little rock from side to side there, just sort of moving into the side of the hips a bit deeper. You can rock a little bit left to right. 
and then taking the other leg on top so you have the less dominant ankle on top pulling those knees in little shift side to side just relaxing the lower back nicely done very good work my lovelies okay bring your feet down we're going to move into our abs now so we're going to start with some just gentle toe taps and then we're going to move into some variations of our toe taps so a nice neutral spine so you might have like a very small little gap underneath your lower back that spine i want you to think about your hips and your pubic bone so this triangle area being nice and flat so we're keeping that area very, very still. We take a deep breath in to reach the hands up towards the ceiling and then exhale, finding your T position with your arms. Bring your right leg up to your tabletop and left leg to join. So we're in a nice 90 degree angle with our legs, good. As we take an inhale, we're gonna tap our right foot down to the floor and then exhale, drawing it up. Inhale, left taps down and exhale. Inhale, we want to keep everything really still here. Good, just a couple more here just to warm up those abdominals. Think of like a hinge, you're just moving that leg from your hip joint down towards the floor. Nice. Let's do one more each side. Inhale and exhale. Lovely, guys. Now you can stay stay with that option or if you want to make it a bit harder you can add the arms in so you're going to reach the arms up and we're going to lower the opposite arm to the foot behind our head so we reach left foot right arm reaches behind and then center and then we switch and exhale center inhale reach exhale center so we're just taking a little bit more range in our upper body here we've got four more inhale exhale squeeze the navel inhale exhale lovely work guys inhale exhale last one nice now take a quick break i'm going to show you the final kind of level for this one you're going to come up we're going to stretch the leg out long and then you open out to the side with the foot and the side with the arm. So you're just moving it like a couple of inches to the side. It is so dark there. Yeah, a couple of inches to the side and the arm drifts a couple of inches to the side as well. Now, if that's too much, just stay with the toe dips or the extension with the arms, just depending how you're feeling this morning. If you're coming into the extended version, you're gonna come up to a crunch position with the upper body arms reach up to prepare and then we're going to extend our left leg long right arm behind now open a few inches to the side that's it and exhale center good inhale we reach and we open and center exhale inhale we reach picking your level keep breathing good inhale and reach Nicely done. As you reach, nothing else moves. You stay completely still, navigating from your core. Good, inhale and extend and, and send. One more each side. Good, keep that breath nice and steady. Last one. Good, everybody. Good, hold it here, reach the legs up long, reach for the feet deep breath in and then exhale bend the knees well done guys take a little refresh take a moment to just relax the back relax the core muscles before we move on very nice work <coughs> good okay taking another deep breath in as you exhale just bring yourself up to a little crunch position and then bring your right knee into your chest so you're taking your basket grip with your hands pulling that knee in towards your body. Now, if you find it's too much of an activation for your head and neck, you can leave your head down for this exercise, that's fine. Otherwise, we're just taking it a bit further for our abdominals, our upper abdominals in that crunch position. We extend our left leg long. Now, similar to what we did in that, first, that last exercise, we're gonna open it out to the side and in, and then we drink, bring it up towards the ceiling and down open to the side couple of inches and exhale up 
bring it down. Good. Inhale, sigh. And exhale. Good. One more like that. Inhale. Good. And exhale. Nice. Now, if you want to make it a bit harder, hands behind the head. Inhale. This is a lot more control. Don't let your right knee move. Good. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Squeeze the abs. Lovely, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the abs here. This is the squeezy moment. That's it. Last one there. Nice. Now hold it here. Stretch your right leg out long. And then bring your hands up towards your feet. And then take them on the diagonal. Little pulses. Good. So we're just reaching tiny little crunches to our transverse abs across our left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Last set. Inhale. Exhale. Reach and hold. And then hug both knees in. Well done, guys. Take a breather. That's a hard one with the control factor. So well done. Take a moment there. And we'll repeat that to our second side. Just take a deep breath. Very nice work, guys. One more deep breath there. Lovely. Let's prepare the second side. So drawing that left knee into the chest now. Extend your right leg out long. Just make sure I'm not going to hit my chair. That's it. Lovely. Now, again, if it's too much for your neck, stay down. And you can do the whole thing down here. That is a little bit more of um, a, like a comfortable position for the neck. So just take it at your own level for the neck uh, variation there. Otherwise, we're up here in our crunch. We inhale, open, and exhale, we lift. Good. Now, don't worry as well. If you can't lift it very high up, if you're only coming up to here, that's absolutely fine. I want you to focus on the knee being as straight as possible, yeah? And think about when you open on your inhale, as you're exhaling, your core is drawing in here. Good. Inhale, exhale. Good, one more like that. And then if you wanna come into that variation, holding that same position, the hands behind the head. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the core, beautiful work. Inhale, exhale. We've got two more, doing so well guys. Deep breath in, exhale. Last one, out to the side. Exhale, now we're holding it here. Stretch that left leg long. Bring your hands up and then take them on that diagonal. Little pulses. Good, reaching into that imaginary diagonal line. You, you can't help but use your transverse abs here. So this is foolproof transverse abs for five, four, three, two, one. And then hug your knees in. Well done. Take a breather. Very good job. Just again, you can let your knees just rock side to side. If you want to take a windscreen wiper, just relaxing the hips, whatever feels nice for your body. There's a lot of hip work in that, that, those exercises. <clears throat> One more very deep breath there. Nice. Good. Okay, we're going to come into our double leg extension now. So... We're going to do a little variation today on this. We're going to start with the basic and then we're going to build it up. So we're going to start knees in towards our chest, knees uh, side by side, taking the top of the knees, coming up to a little ball position. As we take a deep breath in, as we exhale, we extend the arms and legs away from each other, ideally on a diagonal. But if that's too much, you can bring them up towards the ceiling, okay? And then we draw the knees back in. So deep breath in, exhale, reach. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, reach, good. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, back to center. We have two more. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Good, just bring your head down, take a breather. So that is your first level. If you want to make it a bit harder, we're going to come out and we're going to do a crisscross center. 
So basically, your legs are just crossing, crossing, and we're building up our inner thighs and also just giving our abs a bit more of a challenge. So that's level two, and there is a level three, so don't get too excited. Let's all do level two first, or stay with level one, whatever you prefer. So we come up to prepare, hands onto the top of the knees, coming up to that little ball position, deep breath in, exhale, extend, and crisscross. Inhale, exhale, reach, crisscross, good, and back in. Inhale, crisscross, exhale. Inhale, crisscross, beautiful, exhale. We've got two more. Inhale, chop, chop, good, lovely. Think of your legs like a pair of scissors. That's it, lovely, and relax. Nice, guys. Okay, level three, I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. <laughs> but it's fun, but it's not easy. So I'll show you one of level three. You can all do it, I'm sure, but it is a challenge. So we're gonna come up, we do criss, cross, we come up to our teaser, ugh, and then we come back down. It's so nasty. But I do it because I love you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do six of them. So when you come up to your teaser, if you need to, for example, use your hands, that's fine. That's a good training tool. And if you need to keep your knees bent, that is also fine. So you have got a few options for the teaser. So you can use your hands and you can keep your knees bent. We have six of these. So we come out, chop, chop, teaser, back down to our little ball position. Okay, here we go. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Ready, deep breath in, exhale, we reach, we chop and we chop, we come up to our teaser, Ugh. we hold, exhale down, that's one, deep breath in, exhale, we reach, chop, chop, we come up to our teaser, and we come down, exhale, good, deep breath in, reach, cross, cross, up to our teaser, we're halfway, Nice, well done guys, we've got three more. Reach, chop, chop, now squeeze your abs, squeeze your abs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's it, and down. Good, reaching off, last two. Up and reach, and down, good, last one. Reach, under, chop, under, chop, and up. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale, down, oh, well done guys. Very good work, have a little relax. Drop your knees side to side. Take a well-deserved little break there guys. Very, very good job. If you need a quick drink of water, you can grab a quick drink here before we move on. Amazing work guys, well done. Okay, one more deep breath before we carry on. Lovely. Okay, we're gonna move into our roll-ups now. So stretch those legs out nice and long. Make sure you've got some space at the back of your mat. Reaching the arms up, you can have your feet in just a comfortable distance apart so they don't need to be touching, just comfortable distance apart. Reaching the arms up and then on our exhale, we're gonna sit up and find a very tall spine. So deep breath in. As you exhale, we sit up nice and tall, find a very tall spine. Lovely, and then we're gonna curve over, making like a C curve with our back and bring our head down towards our knees, good. Inhale as we roll up, tuck the pelvis, scoop the core in, rolling all the way back down with control, one vertebrae at a time. Beautiful work, guys. Yeah, very nice control. Reach the arms up, good, deep breath in, strong exhale. Sitting up nice and tall, squeeze through that core, find a lovely tall spine and then circle over. And this is just to sort of separate the vertebrae of our back. We wanna have that nice stretch out through the spine. Rolling up. We've just got one more here. So tuck the pelvis with control. One vertebrae at a time, we roll all the way down. Find that extension. Deep breath in, last one as you exhale, find that strong tall back. And then opening the arms, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Very good, guys. Good, bring your feet into a bent position. 
And again, just finding a little bit wider than hip distance, almost to the end of your mat there. That's it, good. Now we're gonna bring our hands behind us. We're gonna do a little bit of arm work now. We're gonna do some tricep dips, but Pilates style, so a little bit more controlled. So if you have any pain in your wrists, and this is like a little bit of an aggravating exercise, just don't do as many repetitions. Maybe do one or two and then just stop, okay? Because you don't want to um, aggravate any wrist injuries or wrist pain. So knees, just make sure they're not opening out or coming in. We want to keep them in line with our hips. Fingertips are facing our bottom. Good. Now, in this position, shoulders are drawing back. So we want to think about pushing your sternum forward. We bring our bottom off the mat. We don't have to come all the way up. So you just bring it off like just a comfortable sort of position. We're gonna send our elbows back, we lower our bottom to the floor, and exhale, we lift. Inhale, exhale, we lift. Good, now when we lower and we press up, don't lock your elbows, keep a little bend to keep those muscles engaged. Inhale, exhale. Good, we have three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, just come down, give your wrists a roll out. I'm gonna show you the next level, moving up in our levels. So we're going to lower down. As we come up, we add a little calf rise and lower. Bottom down and up, calf rise and lower. Okay, so here we go. We're literally just lifting our heels off the floor, engaging this part of our leg, our peroneal, leg muscles. Okay, here we go. Inhale, push and exhale. Inhale, push and exhale. Good. Inhale, push and down. Deep breath and exhale. Two more. Good. Start to feel your shoulders engage. Good. Last one. Let's hold it up here. Now lift your bottom up, so you're finding a reverse table. Now you're gonna bring your knees to touch, yeah? So we bring them in and open. Squeeze and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Make sure your back arms aren't locked. Bottom squeezes, exhale, for four, good. For three, for two, for one, push a little higher. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your bottom. Good, and roll down. Well done, guys. Just come forward, give your wrists a roll. You might have found that it was quite it, like a lot of tension on your wrists. You've got quite a lot of body weight pushing down in those hands. So give them a nice roll out. Very good job. Just take an interlace and just push the palms, just stretching out there. Give it a good little roll. Lovely guys, well done. Okay, let's make our way onto our side. So move into our side line. <clears throat> so just coming down on any side, you can do the other side obviously. And as always, you can lie down all the way down to this position, or you can stay up with your hand supporting your neck. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you do the same on the other side. So we're going to start straight away with elevated so you're going to keep your feet off the floor, knees are in like a, kind of like a chair position. I might need to get my book. Emma, the sound's gone. Oh, Hello? One second. The sound's gone. Okay, one second, guys. Hmm. Is it back yet? Can you hear anything? Oh, you can. We can hear you, but it's very quiet. Yeah, it, it went might, quiet. Might my internet guys let me just reset my speaker one second sorry guys just have a little breather for a second i have a look okay is that any better or, yeah it's better okay <laughs> sorry guys okay if I go quiet again, someone like someone come and tell me because I don't know. So th thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back down to our side. Yeah. So we're in our supportive position. We're tilted onto the front of our thighs there. 
feet are elevated, good. Now, if you wanna try and make it a little bit more of a challenge for your balance, you can lift your top arm up and you have to use your core a bit more. Otherwise, hand down on the floor as a bit more support, yeah? So we're just opening the top knee back and exhale, we lower. Inhale, squeeze. Now, as you push up to the top, I want you to think about squeezing your bottom. So squeeze here and then release, exactly. Push that knee back, nice control. Very good, guys, lovely. And we squeeze and we lower, very nice work. And we squeeze, inhale, exhale, lower, lovely. Squeeze, we've got two more. Nice, and last one. Lovely work, guys. Now hold the legs up here, drop your bottom leg and stretch your top leg out long. You can bring that arm down to the floor now. Flex your top leg and then scooping it forward in line with your hip and then pointing the foot, exhale, push it slightly back behind you. That's it. Inhale, we scoop forward. Exhale, we push back with the pointed foot. Good. Inhale, flex and scoop. Think about the length in the back of the legs and push. Good, inhale, flex and scoop. Exhale, push back. Good, inhale, flex and scoop. Good, exhale back. We have two more, inhale, exhale. Good, last one, deep breath in. Good, exhale. Lovely guys, now hold it in line with your hip now. Bring your underneath leg to extend directly underneath and you're going to bring your underneath leg to tap your top leg. So we bring it up, inhale, exhale, lower. Good, inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, lower, good, inhale, this is a hard one. So when you lift, feel your tummy tense, squeeze and then relax. Squeeze it up and relax, good. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, for four, Good, for three, lovely work guys, for two and one. Hold it up here, hold it up here. Push down onto your left hand, come up onto your side, reach your right arm up and we send our left leg forward, right leg back and we switch and switch. So this is a variation of swimming or scissors. Good, for five, good, for four, good, feel those obliques for three, two, one, reach and hold and relax. Very good job guys. Just coming down, back down onto your side. Just give your hip a little relax there. And then we're gonna take our top leg, so this top leg, and just place it behind you. Yep, so you're just placing that foot down behind you. You're gonna feel your hips slightly open up. So we're not directly to the side now, slightly open. That's it, we're gonna work out inner thigh, on our right leg. So we lift, we're going to bend the knee forward. We bring that foot to tap our other, like the front of our shin and then extend. Good, lift, in, out. Good, inhale, squeeze, exhale. Inhale, squeeze, exhale. Good, inhale, squeeze, exhale. Inhale, lovely, let's do one more. Good, now hold it up, lift it a little higher and a little higher, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze this muscle here and relax. Very nice guys, very good. Just coming up, bend your legs, just come into a little mermaid position. Bring your right hand down and just take a stretch over. Beautiful work guys, take a breather, well done. Got a lot of leg work happening today. Good, one more deep breath and then just relax round and just gently making your way over to your second side. So just coming down, again, you can lie all the way down or you can hold your the back of your neck there. Yeah, and then we're gonna come into our option with our hands. So either hand up or just press the hand down, yeah. We're gonna lift our feet, go straight into our elevated clams. So we squeeze our bottom at the top, inhale, exhale, lower. 
Also now, don't worry too much about your feet. Yeah, they can be relaxed, just not flexed. So you just make sure that they're pointing slightly, but they can be relaxed if you need. That's absolutely fine. Good, inhale, squeeze, exhale, love with control, guys. Inhale and exhale. Good, squeeze that bottom and then release. Good, push the knee back as far as it will go and then relax, that's it, for four. Nicely done, three. Beautiful work, two. And last one, push it up, squeeze and hold it here. Very nice job guys, and lower. Bring your underneath leg down to the floor and then stretch that top leg long. Flexing through the foot, we scoop forward, find our 90 degree angle in line with our hip, point the foot and then pushing slightly back. That's it, inhale, lift it forward, exhale, push it back. Inhale, flex and scoop forward. Good, exhale. Inhale, forward. Keeping our spine nice and long here, which is a weird thing to say, but you wanna keep imagining you pulling like a piece of string on the top of your head, pulling you that way. So you're lengthening through your chest here, good. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, last one. Good, very nice work guys, lovely. And then bring that leg in line, extend your underneath leg. We're gonna lift our underneath leg to tap our top leg. So inhale, squeeze and down, and lift and down. Good, feel your abs really working here. Breathe up and down, good, for five. And squeeze, good, three, and two. Lovely, and one, hold it up, hold it up. Bring your right elbow down, and then we're just gonna move this way a bit. Uh, we're gonna come into our swimming. So we move forward and back, forward and back. Good, you can reach that arm up. Switch, 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 inhale. Exhale. Good, two more breaths. That's it, sharp movements. Good, and then reach and hold, reach and hold, and relax. Very good job, guys. Lovely. Just give that hip a little release. And then we're going to take our top leg and just place it behind you. So you're opening up your pelvis slightly, extending your right leg out nice and long. And we're going to lift, bring it in, exhale. Good, inhale, in, exhale. Very good. As you lift, knee comes forward. That's it, so we don't wanna have it coming up, we wanna come and have it forward, like a little hinge, that's it. Lift, up, and, and inhale, squeeze, good. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, inhale. Very nice work, guys. We have three more, breathe for the last three. Good work, two, and last one. Good, now we lift and hold. Good, lift and hold two more times. Squeeze this muscle. Lift and hold as high as you can. Good, beautiful work, guys. And relax, very nice job. Just push yourself up, bring now your left leg in front of you. We'll just do our quick mermaid stretch. So left hand down. Oh, sorry, that's your right leg. Sorry, right leg in front of you. <laughs> Left hand down and then reaching up and over. That's an essential thing to know as a teacher, your left and right. <laughs> anyway, deep stretch there. Feel that nice opening through your right side and gently coming up. Lovely, guys. Okay, last little push of the class before we move into our cool down. So we're going to come into our plank work. <laughs> Thought you got away with no plank? Never. Okay, so as always, just listening to your body, anything that feels any pain in your back, just dropping your knees down immediately, and any pain in the wrists, just coming out of it, just give the wrists a roll and then join back in if you feel like you can. But if anything's not, not feeling productive, just it's not worth pushing through, okay? 
So let's find our four point posture. Knees directly under our hips. So we've got that nice straight line and then shoulders directly over our wrists. Now in this position, I want you to ima imagine you've got like a cup of tea on your back. So you're trying to keep your back extremely straight and not going side to side, keeping it completely straight and flat. Good. Going to tuck our toes here, take a deep breath in, bending through the elbow slightly, and then just lift our knees into a little box hopper. So this is our first level, we're just going to hold it here, breathe, squeeze the core, and then exhale, drop the knees. Good, we're gonna do that two more times. Deep breath in, exhale, lift the knees. Belly button to spine, squeeze the core. Keep that cup of tea really still. And then drop the knees down. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, push down into your hands, lift, elevate your knees. Good, now we're gonna do a few little twists. So keep those elbows nice and bent. We're gonna twist our knees to the front, twist through your core, exhale, center. Inhale, twist your knees to the back, twist through the core, good. Exhale, center, one more each side. Inhale, twist, nice. Exhale, you should feel a ringing out sensation in your abs, good. Now hold your box, drop your knees, good. Release your feet, just sit yourself back, take a little breather. Very nice work. We're gonna do that again. We're going to do four with a little option of your, to make it a bit harder, an arm variation. So I'll just show you while you're having your break, I'll show you one. I think some of you might've done this before, but you're going to twist. You're going to reach up to your side plank. See if you can elevate your underneath leg, bring it down, back to center. So one more time, you twist, lift, lift, lower, that's it. So there's like three sets of movements, twist, lift the arm, lift the leg, lower, or just do the normal twists, we've got four of them. All right, here we go. Prepare yourself, tuck your toes, squeeze your core, deep breath in, exhale, lift the knees, good, to the left, inhale, lift, lift, lower, beautiful. We go to the second side, twist one, Lift the arm two, lift the leg three, and down, two more, good. Keep that cup of tea, well, not right here, <laughs> but when you come to the middle, keep that cup of tea still. That's it, last one. Good work, guys. Back to the center, hold for three, two, one. Drop the knees, take a child's pose. Beautiful work, guys. Take a deep breath there. Before we come into our last little section, our last cool down section before the end of class, we have our side plank. Good, now we're gonna do forearm side plank today because we've been doing a lot of, I've realized we've been doing a lot of full plank. So we're gonna do forearm plank today. So we're going to set up on the side, which is quite unusual. Usually you set up on the center. So just come down to your right side making a fist with your right hand and then stacking your right elbow directly under your right shoulder, fist is forward. And I want you to really think of pressing down your forearm to the mat. Stack your legs so that they're ready to extend. And then as a variation, you can just come up onto your knees here if you're feeling a bit fatigued or you find this difficult. Otherwise, we're stretching the legs out long. We take a deep breath in, exhale, stretch the legs, and we push up to our side plank. Try to stack your feet. If that's too tricky, you can put one in front of the other, but try if you can to stack, reaching that top arm up, and we breathe and we hold. Good, we have five, four, three. If you want to make it a bit harder, lift your top leg. Good, two, two, two. I'm glitching two, <laughs> and one. Good, relax. Nice. Good, just transition to the second side. Well done. Very good work, my lovely. So just prepare yourself second side. Fist, stacking your arm, shoulder over the elbow, press down into your forearm, and then choosing your level so you can just come up onto your knees or stretching those legs out long to the full side plank. Deep breath in, exhale, we extend. 
Good, pushing up. Now remember, you can bring this foot down, try to keep it on top, pull up through your side body. Good, for five, four, lifting that top leg up, hold it nice and strong, push up through that side body. Deep breath. I'm frozen now. <laughs> and relax. Everyone's like, you are not funny. <laughs> I know I'm not funny. Good, okay, my lovelies. Let's do a nice stretch to finish off. Very, very good job, guys. So we'll start with our lunge stretch. So bringing one leg forward. If we have more time, it's really good to do a really deep stretch after class, keeping those muscles nice and lengthened, but we will make the most of the time we have. So pushing down into your hip. You wanna think about your body pressing down to your thigh. Even if you're back here, that's absolutely fine. On every exhale, we just gently push a little further down. Good. Relax your head. If you've got a bit more range, you can definitely stretch through the back leg as well as an option, or just stay down here for a few deep breaths, guys. Wherever you are, try to relax your muscles, relax your body the best you can when you're stretching. So we want them to almost like you're melting plastic, that sort of relaxed feeling. The muscles can then lengthen as you breathe. After all that pumping we did with those exercises. Nicely done. One more deep breath there. And then just make sure that you're a safe distance, not too far forward. Bring your hands up onto your knee and just coming up into an extended lunge. So you're gonna feel a bit more of a stretch in that um, hip flexor. Just breathe there. Just Thinking about lengthening through the spine, shoulders are down. Deep breath. One more breath here. Good, now push back. So push your bottom back, and then you're gonna stretch this leg forward, flexing your toes, and then just bringing your hands down. Now, if that is really painful, stay there. If you can come down a bit further, we wanna try and get our body down onto our head. Uh, our body down onto our head, our body down onto our leg. So head on our shin if we can. But obviously this is also, if that is enough of a stretch, it's absolutely fine. Wherever you feel a stretch personally is where you wanna hold it. Breathing deep, deep breaths. Nice guys, gently roll up through your spine and then just bring yourself to the front, bring your front leg out to the side. So now you're just on your left knee, you've got one leg over to the side, that's it. And then bring the same hand as the leg onto the leg, stretch as it slides down, stretching over. Good, you get a little bit of a stretch in the inside of that right leg there. That's it, one more deep breath. Nice, pushing up and then bring your left hand down and we're gonna stretch away now. So we get a bit more of a stretch over our outside right rib cage. That's it. And then gently pushing up and we will switch sides. So just taking your time, finding your lunge on the second side, bring your hands down. Again, just pushing down to where you feel a stretch. Breathing, feel the body just gently resting on the top of that thigh. Imagine you've got someone just gently pushing you down there. That's it. Deep breath. Good, feeling them start to relax. Nice, guys. And then pressing down into your front foot, just retracting a little bit if you need. Bring your hands up onto your knee coming into that hip flexor. Again, you might need to come back slightly. That's fine. Shoulders are down, nice lengthened chest, gently pushing down. Good, one more deep breath. Nice, pushing yourself back, flexing your left foot now, stretching the left leg out long. Deep breath in and then exhale just to where you feel a stretch. So you might stay here. Might come down a bit further. You did a lot of leg work, so just take it easy in the stretches. Good, 
Good. One more deep breath. Exhale, rolling up. Nicely done, guys. And then just shuffle that leg out to the side. That's it, coming up nice and smoothly. Bring your left hand down onto your left leg. Then reaching that right arm up and over. Take a nice stretch over to the side. You want to feel that side body, side obliques really stretching out long. And then switching sides. Right hand comes down. Left arm reaches up and over. Feel that nice lengthened full stretch from that foot to the fingers. Lovely guys. And relax. Good. Last little thing. Let's just come into our cross leg position for our hips. So just taking whatever leg is more comfortable in front. You might have your knees right up here. That's fine. Might be open and down. Wherever you are, we'll just do a few little hip stretches. So left hand down. Make sure you don't go over to the side. Press down into your bottom, reaching over. As you exhale, circle around to the middle, head down. And then gently roll up. Good one for our glutes. Left arm comes over, deep breath in. And circle round. And let's take one final deep breath to finish the class. Inhale, reaching those arms up, deep breath in. And then exhale, pressing down. Good job, guys. Well done. As always, fantastic work, everyone. I'm so sorry.